Hello everyone. Today I am going to give a lecture on springs. So let's begin. Now the question comes what is a spring? A spring is an elastic element which undergo considerable deformation without getting permanently distorted. Okay? So the spring absorbs energy due to its resilience and the stored energy can be restored or recovered to perform the desired function as and when required okay the springs are made to act in tension compression bending torsion or combination of these loads next obviously as you can see in the design of springs the main concern is in its energy absorbing capacity or deflection under external loads okay a spring is considered to be best if it is capable of absorbing the greatest amount of energy without exceeding the safe stress limit. Next, we come to the function of springs. Okay, so springs are stated to perform the following functions. Number one, absorb energy and release it slowly. For example, springs use in clocks and toys okay next number two absorb impact loading shocks and vibrations example springs of railway buffers and automobiles number three deflect under external forces and provide the desired motion to the ma machine component and perform the required task okay next comes the spring weight okay so spring weight is the ratio used to measure how resisting spring is to be compressed or expanded during its application the load necessary for unit deflection is called the spring constant spring weight or spring stiffness the deflection of a spring is directly proportional to the force producing it and it can be stated as W equal to K into delta, okay? Where W equal to external load applied to the spring, delta will be the deflection and K is the spring constant. Next, we move on to helical springs, okay? So, a coil spring is basically a heavy duty strip of spring steel formed into the shape of a helix okay the angle alpha which the coil makes with the horizontal is called helix angle the helical springs are capable of taking axial or torsional or combined axial and torsion loads the helical springs may be closed coil or open coil okay so number one we move on to Closed coil helical spring. Spring, sorry. Okay, so it can be further divided into number A, closed coil helical spring with axial twist. Okay, so let's see what is it. The helical spring is called closed coil if the helix angle alpha is small or the pitch between two adjacent turns is small. Okay. The coiling of the spring wire is so close that each turn is practically a plane at right angles to the axis of helix. The coils touch each other and there is no gap between them. The solid length of the spring is then it will be equal to number of coils into diameter of wire which will be equal to N into D. Okay? So, the length of the wire of spring will be small l equal to twice pi r1 n1 and it will be equal to twice pi r2 n2, okay? And the strain energy that is the energy stored in the spring will be lambda sigma square by 8e into volume of spring wire. Next comes the closed coil spring with axial load. 
a closed coil helical spring subjected to an axial load W which produces twisting moment T equal to WR where R is the mean radius of the coil. Shear stress tau equal to 16 WR divided by pi D cube and spring length small l will be equal to twice pi r m deflection of spring lambda equal to sorry delta equal to r theta where i equal to r into 64 w r square n by c d to the power 4 which will be equal to 64 w r cube n divided by c d to the power 4 okay Next, spring stiffness K equal to W by delta equal to C d to the power 4 divided by 64 R cube into small m. Okay. Next comes strain energy or energy stored in the spring. It will be tau square divided by 4 C into volume of spring wire. Okay. Now, the effect of curvature of spring and direct shear stress has been neglected while deriving the expressions for shear stress and angle of twist. While designing helical springs, these expressions are modified by introducing a factor that is Kw called Wall's stress factor. Okay, and it will be defined as Kw equal to 4s divided by 4s minus 4 plus 0 0.615 by s where s is the spring index that is s will be equal to capital D by small d okay next number 2 open coiled helical spring okay the coiling of the spring wire in an open coiled helical spring is such that the two consecutive turns have a large gap between them. The gap allows the spring to take compressive load also. So let's solve a problem regarding this. Say for example, a railway wagon weighing 30 kN and moving with a speed of 10 km per hour is required to be stopped by a buffer of 4 springs. Okay? What number of turns is required in each spring? The data given is diameter of spring wire is given as 15 mm, diameter of coils is given as 100 mm, allowable maximum compression of spring is given as 200 mm, and take modulus of rigidity of spring material Z equal to 8 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per mm square. So let's solve this problem. Okay. Now here is the solution first of all we need to find the speed of wagon which is given that is 10 km per hour now let's convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second okay so it will be 10 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3600 it will be equal to 2.78 meter per second okay next we have to find the kinetic energy of wagon which will be equal to as we all know half m b square okay so half m is given as 13 to 10 to the power 3 divided by 9.81 into 2.78 whole square which will be equal to 11817 newton meter okay next we need to find energy absorbed by each spring which is equal to 11817 divided by 4 as 4 springs are required to stop the carriage equal, equal to 2954 newton meter okay now if let us consider w is the equivalent static load then work done on the spring will be equal to half of w delta okay so half w into delta will be equal to 200 divided by 1000 okay so it will be 0 0.1 w next we will, we will find the work done equals the 
ener energy absorbed therefore 0 0.1 w which we have find out from here will, will be equal to 2954 that is this one energy absorbed okay so from here we will find out w that is equal to 29540 newton okay so now for a closed coil helical spring the deflection will be delta equal to 64 w r cube and divided by c d to the power 4 this formula we have already discussed in the theory so delta is given as 200 it will be equal to 64 into w is 29540 r is equal to 50 that will be equal to 50 cube and this into n which we don't know okay c is 8 into 10 to the power 4 which is given in the question and d is 15 to the power 4 so from here we can find out the value of n which is equal to 3.43 and we can this round off by rounding off we can take this as 4 okay so the number of turns will be equal to 4 Done. so we have solved the solve one problem so let's solve another problem okay so here the question comes a closed coil helical spring has coil diameter to wire diameter ratio of 6 the spring deflects 3 cm under an axial load of 500 newton and the maximum shear stress is not to exceed 300 megapascal find the diameter and length of the wire spring wire required Sharing modulus of wire material is given as 18 gigapascal. So let's solve it. Here comes the solution. So shear stress is given as tau equal to 16 W R divided by pi d cube, which is be equal to 8 W divided by pi d square, and R will be equal to capital D by small d. Okay. So from here we put the value of tau as 300 into 10 to the power 6 and will be equal to 8 into w is 500 divided by pi d square into capital d by small d is 6 as the ratio is given as 6 okay so from here we find out the value of small d which is equal to 5.05 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter so from here we convert this meter into millimeter and we get the answer as 5.05 mm okay so now deflection delta equal to 64 w r cube n divided by c to the power 4 from here we simplify the formula as 8 w capital d by small d whole to the power cube into n divided by c d okay so from here we put the value of delta as 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 8 is 8 w is 500 capital d by small d is 6 so it will be 6 to the power 3 into n divided by capital c is given as 18 to 10 to the power 9 and this small d we have just found out that 5 into 0 0.05 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so from here we get the value of n equal to 14 that is the number of active coils will be 40 okay from here we find out diameter capital d is equal to 6 into small d which will be equal to 30.3 millimeter so the length of spring wire will be n into pi d capital d so n is 14 pi is 5 and capital d we have found this one 30.3 mm so it will be 1332 mm so if we convert this mm into meter we get the answer as 1.332 meter okay next let's discuss now regarding springs in series and parallel okay two or more springs are said to be connected in series when they are joined end to end and carry a common load capital w okay for such an arrangement number one each spring is subjected to the same load that is w1 equal to w2 equal to w and num point number two will be total deflection equals the sum of deflection of the different springs so delta is equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 so delta will be delta by w equal to delta 1 by w1 
plus delta 2 by w2 and the next is 1 by k equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 from here we find k is equal to k1 into k2 divided by k1 plus k2 so here you can see uh, figure of springs in series so this k1 and k2 are two different springs so its connection is in series okay next in the parallel arrangement point number one axial deflection is same for each spring that is delta 1 equal to delta 2 equal to delta and number two the load is divided between the different springs that is capital w equal to w1 plus w2 so from here w by delta equal to w1 by delta 1 plus w2 by delta 2 so this is the figure of springs in parallel okay equal to k1 plus k2 next let's solve a problem regarding series series springs in series and parallel okay so here comes one example number a four identical steel springs of spring weight k each are joined together as shown in figure find the equivalent spring weight of the composite arrangement in terms of k okay so next part of the question is b the deflection of a spring with 10 active turns under a load of 1000 newton is 10 mm the spring is cut into two pieces each of 10 active coils and placed in parallel under the load calculate the deflection of the system so here you can see the figure is given so let's solve the problem for part a okay so since springs a and b are in parallel and the combination is equivalent to spring stiffness equal to k plus k it will be 2k okay springs c and d are in series and this combination is equivalent to spring stiffness equal to k into k divided by k plus k which will be equal to k by 2 okay the combinations a and b and c and d are in series then springs rate of the composite arrangement becomes twice k into k by 2 okay divided by twice k plus k by 2 which will be equal to 0 0.4 k next for part b we need to find the stiffness before cutting which will be equal to load by deflection that is 1000 by 10 equal to 100 newton per millimeter Stiffness is inversely proportional to the number of active coils. Therefore, stiffness after cutting into two equal parts will be equal to 2 into 100. So, it will be 200 Newton per millimeter. Okay. And the resultant stiffness when the two parts are placed in parallel, which will be equal to 200 plus 200, which will be total, it will be equal to 400 Newton per mm. So, the deflection after cutting will be 1000 divided by 40 which will be equal to 2.5 millimeter okay so here we come to the end of my lecture on springs hope you have understood thank you everyone